it's over full here. So today I spent an hour of my life watching the most useless Windows event slash release in all of Windows history. And today I'm going to talk about it so you don't have to waste an hour of your life watching the literal useless event. So right here I have basically summed up all the things that they talked about in this event and did in this event. And let's talk about the basic event presentation. I absolutely hated the presentation. First of all, the website was amazingly laggy and it just kept buffering. Even though I have amazing internet, it would just keep buffering and it would never actually work. I actually had to hop on Discord and watch someone else stream it so I could actually watch the event. Another thing about the actual stream that I didn't like is that they talked really, really slow. They would also stutter randomly like, we love Windows. We brought the best windows for you. Like they would just do that, and it was, and it was also really slow. So it was absolutely annoying to actually watch. And right at the start, they also added some random thing about this guy's house, how he grew up in it. It had absolutely nothing to do with windows and nothing to do with the event at all. They just crammed it in there for extra time, I guess. Now. Let's talk about the actual Windows thing. So because Windows 11 got leaked, you probably know about most of the UI designs, but let's go over them again. And starting with the taskbar, you know that they centered the taskbar, they have a new start, all of that. But they also said that they were gonna have teams on the taskbar, like they would just pin it to the taskbar for you. That's, why? Why would you do that? I don't need Teams, I primarily use Zoom, stop trying to shove things down our throat. In fact, that's basically the main theme of Windows 11, it's just Windows and the Microsoft team trying to shove more things down your throat. They also added widgets, it's kind of like similar to the macOS widgets, but they're more bloat, and it's just MSN newsfeed, but, you know, forced down your throat. At least when Apple one planted widgets you could actually have third-party widgets and they were somewhat useful you could have a clock before they added big Sur ones you could have a calculator at least apple ones are somewhat useful these are barely useful like i would say windows vista widgets are more useful because you can monitor things like your cpu usage this is the new windows 11 ones are just trash oh sure whether i'll that's debatable, but do I need a full-on, infinitely scrolling Microsoft News feed on my home screen? I don't think so. Another feature that they added was Microsoft Store redesign with a couple of new big features, like the ability to run Android apps on Windows. I personally think that's pretty cool, but the way they delivered it was also trash. It's not the way that you would expect from something like Windows, because if you don't know, Chrome OS has the ability that you can download apps from the Google Play Store and run them like native apps on Chrome OS. Windows tried copying that, but instead of using Google Play Store, they used the Amazon App Store. Personally, I think the Amazon App Store is the most useless app store because it doesn't have enough apps like Google, and most of it is locked down and just garbage another thing that they did with the windows store that they kept saying we care about developers like the we care about developer count was like five times they said it so much and i was sick of constantly hearing we care about developers so we added this useless feature another useless feature is they tried to make it more tablet friendly which i call the windows a2 electric boogaloo it, it basically the summary of the feature that things would expand for your tablet usage and there was also new gestures i personally would be fine with it considering that i don't use windows on tablets but that's debatable they also added this new desktop features where you can have like your main laptop display and your desktop display. I think that's pretty useful, but 
that's kind of necessary because right now if you have two displays on windows and you unplug it everything just gets shoved onto your main display and it's honestly a mess because if you unplug your monitor and replug it all the windows would stay on your laptop display and wouldn't actually move back over to the monitor so i think that's a pretty nice feature they also added different desktops which is another useless feature i had it for like two years now on mac os and i personally never used it because i would just switch full screen apps it wasn't useful at all and i tried once to like have one desktop for work and one for but that just never worked out considering that if you have zoom on one it was just more of a pain to try and like have google chrome or edge and another desktop and switch between them so that's another thing another thing with the ui is that they added in themes now themes were already here in windows 10 and they basically go back pretty far but that's it's kind of useless again like the entire event those are my thoughts on the windows 11 event just to summarize it up it's an absolutely useless event and if you don't want to upgrade don't upgrade there's literally nothing new that i would actually upgrade for except maybe for the ui because it looks new but really other than the ui there's nothing useful in this and if you want more microsoft bro shove down into row sure upgrade it's also pretty much going to kill most of older computers because of how high the spec requirements are Thank you for watching this video. Please don't upgrade to Windows 11. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.